Okay, hey guys, slightly annoyed. I just recorded the last episode, well, an episode of sorts, but I can explain it to you guys all over again. Yay! But welcome back, guys. It's awesome to have you guys back here. So, I built a mob farm in, the, in between episodes just because I wanted a bunch of rockets. It uses a flashing mechanic, just as simple as this. The mob spawn, if our upper clock makes them fall out, they will die in campfires. Items get yeeted over here, get shot out, arrows get hit into the wall because of the dispenser, and the switch is not going to die. That's annoying. But yeah, that's basically how this farm works, guys. This was a gunpowder farm, I repurposed it. So, today's episode is city planning. Now, you may be wondering, how do you plan a city in Minecraft? Like, how do I know exactly where each building goes? Oh, my secret, guys, is I have no idea. I have no idea where every single build is. But Japanese, fi Japanese fishing house is supposed to fit in with a theme on this side. Not with a copper roof. That big house wasn't the plan at all. Literally. I only decided halfway when I started doing YouTube videos on my world that I wanted to start actually planning out a proper city. This iron farm was plopped down, I never really planned for anything here and now in the next episode we're going to build a tree over here. Inspired by like Iskal 85 and FWIP for building huge massive trees in their world, my plan is to build at least five to six maybe one for every single wood type but now we go to city planning you may be asking how do you plan your city well first on you need to have roads and you need to have buildings and try and fit in a lore or theme to this so for example if i'm going to do this as a farming village or a partial farming village i need to have houses or buildings that represent farms. This one, for example, is gonna be a farmhouse. And it's just a bit further away, so it's a bit safer in case something happens to the river. Or it's not that none of the builds are actually super close to like the bridge, because let's see there's an attack over here, like a war. This bridge can be destroyed before they can cross them and we need to struggle to get across and any enemies can be like just dealt with. So this is just a simple farmhouse build template. I'm gonna have to copy this world to creative to check how can I fill in the spaces in each of these houses. We have here a water mill which I will have to actually expand on and just remove a lot of this terrain but this will eventually become a water mill. This roadway actually leads out here. I'm gonna go into free cam because I just have it and it's a lot easier to use. So my character's still in survival mode. I'm just over here, as you guys can see. If I click, yeah, where I'm clicking, doesn't really affect the game. But for these two builds, I plan to have them here so this can twist around. And there goes my power. Power is confusing, guys. So, I want to have farmland over here, maybe some animals closer to that side. Then, here is going to be a storage room, which can be used for various purposes, like this will hold the wheat and beetroots, carrots, potatoes, etc. We can have some automatic farms underneath, there isn't really a lot going on except for a few. Okay, I'll have lots of caves. And a simple small build, which is going to complement or be complemented by these uh, storage silos. Over here is going to be like a bakery or a processing area or build whereby all the resources can be brought here. The wheat can be turned to, can be taken to a water mill, be processed into flour, be brought here to make bread of sorts, lore wise, which is going to be brought here to make bread or store it all. And that's just gonna be like a simple house. Now, I wanted to have some roads with some planning. I'm going to have a tree over here somewhere, which I want to build. Here's gonna be a pond and 
A3. Here is going to be a road that continues. I actually have to fill in this terrain and terraform it properly still, which is just going to continue out through the forms, etc. And over here, we can have another build, maybe some storage silos, etc. I'm going to continue to some fields over here, this entire area with another farmhouse. And we're going to split the crops up. Now, the spawner, I'm going to just put all a normal spawner type farm here and basically farm the zombies so they can turn into ground and just get the copper from them. It's gonna be a super slow farm actually because I can't actually have snow many here so I can't use the zombie reinforcement mechanics as with the other spawner which is just somewhere behind the mob farm if we quickly go check. Yeah just here. And the reason for that is that snow golems actually die in warmer climates. We need to have a cold to temperate climate. So plains are still fine, rivers are fine, savannas, deserts, jungles, no. Never as well. But this railway is going to continue over here. Maybe we can stretch it around here to meet back up to this one. And there's actually a village in a far distance. I don't know if it's in render distance, but we can actually build a safe... Let's actually just go there and show what happens. So this train is very uneven, so I still need to terraform all of it. And here's the village. Now, I don't know how many of the villagers survived. I have been flying over here overnight. Oh, a lot of them, actually. The column's been doing a good job. So this idea is to simply just have these villagers move to a safer place. And if we move this way, it's going to be a bit of a flight, I think. We're actually going to see a few zombie pigmen or zombified piglins. As we're now calling the latest updates. Just, I don't know, it spawned. But just over here is my never portal to the gold farm. So I need to expand on this so that it's a lot easier to access. And I need to actually break bedrock, so I'm a bit lazy with that. But in between episodes, I redid the storage room. and they're all gonna aggro to me but this entire storage room just is a lot slower now still so I couldn't make it super fast but I did get a cleric villager over here and he's just trading the rotten flesh for emeralds so it's just as simple as doing that and just clicking a few times and then we can get redstone, glowstone, etc. from him. But I may need to get a few more villagers in here. And I have piglins actually bartering with some of the excess gold. And they're just gonna give me a bunch of resources like quartz, etc. and blackstone and all these blocks I want to actually use in the main farm or central hub of this world and there's the XP's so this farm just simply you just tap them they die the rest get mad they also fall in the hole and I added these walls so they now die properly just gonna wait for these XP's to finish And we're going to go back into the Never Portal to go back to the overworld where we will probably just talk a bit yeah, back at the city. So you guys saw, probably saw the video about fighting the weather in Minecraft Java Edition. It's one of the easiest boss fights. I was actually much more anxious and delaying the fight as much as I could because I did not want to fight for whoever at first because of how the bedrock whoever is that thing is a living nightmare if it comes to combat it deals so much damage has double the health of the java edition whoever but overall the fight went a bit easier than expected this beacon has been super useful and also in between videos I 
was forming a bit of wood with your mangoes automatically form and I forgot to pick up my shulker box but here yeah, you just need a bunch of bone meal place a sapling it grows it gets exploded by TNT perfectly timed and everything bunch of sticks saplings apples sometimes spring or three types some wood in here and the rest is in the storage room so this is going to be like a jungle-ish thing with a bunch of bamboo sticking out past, with, past the storage room but if you look here at our oak chest it, spruce chest is actually overfilled and our birch chest that is a nice amount of wood I need to farm everything but I actually need to AFK for this block ironically cherry I need to farm mangrove I need to cut down that entire forest because it's annoying me dark oak I need to farm in jungle I can just plop into that farm as well now if we go to the mob farm we can grab some bone meal and probably just after this video I'll farm for about whatever nine stacks of bones will allow me to get in terms of jungle saplings so I'm just gonna grab nine stacks and the way you get out of this farm even though it's like this rough landing I'm actually gonna take this wall path because it's a bit easier I need to actually build bigger walls because this one wide path is not the best and an enderman was here which it actually shouldn't have I actually spawn proof this area so that's strange I'll have to check around again but now it's going to be a bit of an annoyance let's see what we can drop off I'm going to drop off a cobblestone and put the wool into this chest with the seeds cobblestone is just going to go over here Now I'm using Twicker, which is actually a super useful like add-on to the game. I'm actually supposed to get jungle saplings, aren't I? Can't run a farm without having the saplings. So this is probably gonna be a bit scary. Luckily I still have a double tools uh, jungle tree and I have a huge forest just literally behind the area I build, like literally over there is a huge jungle and more planes which I can expand to but I'll need to terraform a lot of the world now I haven't really done much in terms of a bone meal chest but we're just gonna craft a bunch of this into bone meal again and we're just gonna do that so at first this is gonna be a bit slow but as the bone meal trickles down it should expand a bit faster or increase the amount of speed we get my words are a bit weird today guys so how this works I'm gonna turn off oak mode you start by opening a barrel and now you just stand here you place a sapling it goes it gets pushed out the TNT explodes and I'm gonna turn on my use key with Twicker and go into the cam. So I'm actually placing down saplings and I'm actually just being this like moving the camera around. This uses a TNT duper and some complicated redstone which I in a sense can understand but it's so confusing to me guys. And then some pistons which are actually budded. This will only work on Java edition. And it just clicks everything into Opera for now. I will have to expand this. So that it can handle about 12,000 items an hour when we go with Birch of Spruce. So I'm going to turn off that use. Place the last sapling. I'm just going to go here and I'm going to turn off the farm. Now if we go over here, it doesn't matter small but we already gathered over a stack of jungle saplings. Are not saplings? Logs. So yeah, that's like one of the most efficient farms you can have in any single Minecraft world. It's just an automatic reform. 
I still have to make one for the two war trees for crimson and warped logs as well. That that should be it, guys. Also, for my trident, I have riptide. If I recall everything I did in the, the failed recording, it just allows you to launch yourself into the air. And the benefit of having these water pools, I can go to any place in my city where there is water and just like throw myself. Now you don't want to eat any mob surface, especially not close to an iron farm. If we just do quickly, if you launch yourself, you're actually gonna deal damage to mobs, which is a cool mechanic I eventually learned. But uh, looking back at this, this is gonna be a nice city once we actually build it. And there's a lot of mobs. I'm just gonna fly back into the safe, first place possible over here. So now they all despawn, which is good. And we're gonna go back down. So I'll probably just be AFK, but getting more bone meal, growing more jungle trees, etc. And maybe doing an arc video for you guys in the future, so that you guys have something to watch whilst I'm recording the next big video, which is going to be the Guardian Farm. I have been putting it off way too long, guys. Literally, this armor term is only for side armor term is only uh, obtainable by killing elder guardians and I never really recorded me collecting the templates it's just me sharing off to my friends which I have like the only footage of that but I know about a few ocean monuments many one just behind me for that side behind me at an ocean and another one by the desert so I'm gonna be gathering some sand use gravel a bit a lot of gravel and sand some glass so really a lot of materials and then i will make a tutorial on that form because it has four chambers for the uh, guardians to spawn now this will not spawn squid unfortunately i do not know how to actually form those yet i need to go watch some videos and learn game mechanics but this form actually needs to also have a proper storage system so I'm gonna be probably researching some of the faster item collection methods maybe doing some fancy water stream in a chest alignment to do with hoppers so that the items get collected super easily or wait is that it's either sea pickles hop uh, sea pickles in a chest etc just to allow items to flow over hoppers being collected it's super fast much better than using hoppers which are restricted to 9000 items an hour as I can quickly show you guys this is restricted to about 9000 items an hour and it does not keep up with rotten flesh always due to this amount of mobs that just fall in and they all just die casually so yeah I will be designing a proper guardian form for you guys which is hopefully fast enough not the fastest because the fastest fastest is always going to be the portal based forms but i will have a relatively decent to fast form because it's going to be spawn proof this will not be an xp form it is purely mob drops so it's only going to produce the guardian drops including cod prismarine shards and some I forgot the last drop. Oh well. Crystals. That's marine crystals. So it's gonna produce those and maybe some squid ink. So hopefully in that tutorial I can show you guys the best storage system out there. It's probably gonna take me a week just to finish that video alone. So the videos are gonna be slowed down slightly. I'm doing a lot of like quality of life things in my world at the moment just so that I can get like the best forms out to you guys and yeah I'll probably also I have a snuffer form in a shulker box we will be doing that next okay so first it was, it was a snuffer based pitcher pod and torch flower seed form 
then we can do the like guardian form <laughs> and maybe in between if you build build in this world maybe we can finally finish up the center center of the city and definitively a marketplace it is time to have automatic pumpkins and melons I forgot torches I am so paranoid about mobs spawning everywhere but next episode uh, we have put a snuffer based torch flare and picture pod form and a market stall area just over here with a roadway and maybe just maybe we can do the entire roadway of this town so far but like probably not like at cobblestone it's maybe like I said with a bit I forgot to say my bridge because I, I was an idiot and did not record audio lol but the same blocks as used in that bridge and as stated in a comment in one of my prior videos when I in the bridge building video I am going to be using some campfires around this world to add awnings and maybe some walkways and stuff just maybe we will see what we can do and terraform this mountain finally as well after the garden form so videos are going to be a bit slower guys but overall I'm going to go for quantity a uh, quality over quantity I can have a bunch of videos like I did which I literally just sit there I build something I record it I do time lapse done and go from that to having a few less videos every now and again record time lapse done but tutorial editing for a long bit of time building a proper form explaining stuff talking a bit more to you guys and then only finish up the video and get it out to you guys okay yeah it's still gonna be slapping everything together and throwing it out but hopefully a bit better quality for you guys and hopefully also a lot more enjoyable so maybe I'm just gonna go and I actually have a bunch of diamond gear still which I still have to upgrade so that's I have a bunch of good gear to use but that can wait for later and we'll probably also excavate a trail room I have a coordinate that sits out in this world just somewhere on that far side behind me also in the jungle but yeah that will be for maybe a future episode collecting all the armor terms later on but I hope you guys enjoyed this video about uh, city planning and some explanation behind mob farms, their farms and the city update. Now I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.